Hi guys, I just want to let you know I got the 350QX and the new GB200 gimbal working today um, with the satellite receiver so I can angle the camera uh, even though uh, everything's working um, as you can see right here uh, I have a auxiliary um, ch channel 6 I think it's auxiliary 2 uh, to work in so I can tilt the camera down 45 degrees or straight down so some overhead shots so that would come in kind of handy I figured those two settings would work nice I have it on a three-way switch uh, to get 45 degrees I set the setup point first and my end points to get it exactly um, parallel and uh, horizontal so that seems to work out pretty good anyways um, to get this thing working um, I had to use a external um, satellite receiver and I stuck it right to the bottom here as you can see uh, it's right underneath here and I made I actually cut the cable that it came with and uh, soldered it back together I think you can see that it made it really short and you can see it's plugged in on the bottom channel on that side and on this side, I ran the front connector because I'm only grabbing the power for the gimbal. So I ran the two wire cable and it went inside. Uh, wherever, where, you know, the, the three pin connectors that were here. I'm only using the two out, outer edges, the power ones. Which, um, so the inside pin is not used. So I figured I'll only use that one. Uh, no need to run the three wire cable in here because nothing else is being run. Now this is, as you can see, it's a 350QX. Uh, it's got V2 software. And uh, that's pretty much it. I got the extreme props on this thing too. And I put the longer landing gear on and I did order this landing gear before the new ones are available that are extended out about an inch. I think they realize that this is pretty tipsy going forward. And I also mounted the gimbal. I swapped the gimbal plate. It came with the gimbal plate that mounts on the newer frame that doesn't have this bump out on the, the newer 350 QX uh, AP for sure it doesn't have this so you can mount the gimbal back uh, probably about a half an inch now it still flies great I chose to use this gimbal um, plate because it fits perfect but the other one will go on as a matter of fact I tried it it really doesn't bend the gimbal that much that little plastic plate but I figured it did stress it a little bit, and if it does, uh, I would get a hard landing or something. I don't want to crack, and this one's definitely made for it. And I also changed this plate that holds the camera for my GoPro. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You just need a really small Allen screw to go on the bottom, and um, you have to take off the little PC board. Uh, you'll figure it out. It goes on here. There's a little PC board. It's held on with double-sided tape inside this little tray that slides in and out, and um, what happens is you can reuse that tape if you wanted to. It's in, inside this. There's a board in here. And the wire cable runs right up inside. Pretty simple. So anyways, that's it. There's the new gimbal setup. Uh, everything is uh, from Horizon Hobby. Um, works perfect the way it's supposed to. And uh, it flies well. Takes good movies. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you get yours figured out. Uh, and once again, that's a DSM-X X, um, receiver. Okay, that little uh, re extended um, satellite receiver. Okay. And there she is. Double-sided tape right on the bottom. I didn't want all these cables and crap running around. and uh, Just make it easy. All right. Anyways, um, thanks for watching.